Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel, The Felty Palette. I'm Larissa and today I'm going to continue working on this wool painting of Buster. You can see today I've actually kind of shifted the frame, framing of the video a little bit so that you can see, because I'm going to be working down in this lower part here, I want to try and, and get in the base layer of his neck, his collar, and his chest here before I start going in and putting in all the details. So I have a big assortment of colors here. I've got some blues and greens on the side. These are what are going to be in his collar. And I've got my yellows, golden, tans up here. A little bit of this dark color. This will be his um, main part of his coat. And then down here I've got some pale colors. There's some warm pales and some cool pales. I've got some pinks, some blues and grays which I'm going to be using for the base of his chest here because this is actually a big white patch on him. So this is what I'm uh, going to be working with today and let's get started. So I want to get the bulk of the golden colors in first. Right along here, which is the edge of the collar, is a little bit darker than the rest of his cheek. So for that, I'm just going to mix. This is. Uh, I think that's toffee and a little bit of butterscotch, which I'm going to mix in with some of this uh, chocolate. So I'm just going to blend these colors, and I'm not worrying too much about details here right now because, like I said, this is just to get a base layer put on that I'll be building up from afterwards. I don't need to get it super well mixed since it's a base color uh, and sometimes I like having the the obvious differences of color showing in in my mix. Now you, you can mix a color so it's very well blended or you can mix it so that you actually see the striations of different color through it and when I'm doing the base depending what it is uh, I don't mind having those striations showing up sometimes because they kind of add a little bit of a little bit of depth and character to an image. I'm going to move some of these colors out of the way here. Now I also have, these are my leftover mixes from the last time I was painting and I like to try and incorporate them so that I can use colors up. So this this could be a bit darker, so I'm just going to mix some of these darker uh, mixes into this color. I do not like wasting anything at all, so even the tiniest of scraps get kept in a little bin, and I go through them as I'm selecting my color palette each each time I'm working on a painting and see what can I what can I use up. So I think that's a good, good enough mix. So that's going to be in along here. Um, right here, this is actually part of his white patch. Uh, I need to reference my sketch here. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be part of his, his neck, but half of it is, I'm going to do in this, and half is going to be in the white. Well, actually, I'm going to start with that, and I'm going to pick a darker piece of my mix here. And I'm just going to use a little bit of it at a time. And just start needling it in. I want to keep a good crisp edge between his lip that we did in the beginning. Some colors escaping on me here. So where it where it comes into the um, the white patch, it's gonna it's gonna blend in paler. It's not it's not a hard edge between the two. So I'm I'm just gonna overlap past 
where that color is going to go. Now it does get quite a bit lighter along here before it goes into the grays. This is white, but it's a very, very uh, in shadow. So I'm going to try and just get a small mix happening here. So this is a kind of a medium gray mixed with my warm, uh, the, the warm color is, it's a very pale pink. I try and save white for the actual very last part of a painting, the, the final details. This needs to be a bit darker still. I have whatever this is that looks like an interesting color, so let's mix it in. Now, do I think this is too cool? Do I want to warm it up? Nope, I think it's pretty good like that. So I'm going to just put this in. So this is, this is his white patch, which as you can see is quite dark. So I'm just going to begin needling it in place. I'm not worried too much yet about where it's going to meet that darker color. I'm going to adjust it in a bit. Just want to get the base part down. So now I want to just loosely let that come over top of the of the tan. Now I feel like it's actually gone too far over, but that is okay. Because what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get another small amount of our tan. And I'm tearing it so that they're shorter pieces. But I'm keeping them loose. I think that might even be too much. And I'm going to put it over top. And that's just to start blending the two together. Oops, more escaping colors. So I need to blend that a little bit more. Now one of the things I'm going to want to do is I see kind of a highlight along the edge there, or the bottom edge of this um, piece of his neck, but I'm not going to worry about putting that detail in just yet because this is more of the base layer that I want to build up from. So now continuing along here, this is the same. So we have a warmer, less gray white patch along here. So for that, I'm going to start with this mix that we previously made, but I'm going to add a little bit more. It's too much. I'm going to add a little bit more of my pale pink. Let's just mix this up and see what we get. So this is close, but I'm going to add a tiny touch of this. Um, I think this is like a That might be a lemon or a blush, maybe. I'm not really sure. Just, just something to warm it up. See, the gray made it a very cool color. And it's a little cooler than I wanted it to be. This is a little, a little warmer, but you know what? I'm going to go with it. I'll just take a cooler section of it. 
Okay, and same thing. We're just going to start needling it in. It looks like there's a, an interesting transition along with the bulk of the color being in here. So this is where I'm going to start putting it on first. go in and lighten these areas up if we need to if we find that they're too dark after we've um, got the base layer on it's it's easy enough to just go in with a pale color a thin layer of a pale color to lighten it up a bit if that's what you need to do uh, that's the wrong one this is the one I want here I think this color is a little bit dark so I'm going to add uh, this pale yellow color just to lighten it up a bit Here we go. Okay, right, and we're just building the mitten. And again, I'm just trying to make sure that I keep that nice hard edge along his lip there. there. If I hold the needle on an edge I can, or on an angle rather, I can needle the neck part underneath of the lip part and then it keeps that nice edge. Just mussing this piece up a bit and I want my loose fluffy edges to kind of come over the white part that we've already laid down because I want as I mentioned there's an interesting kind of transition between the light and the tan that I'd like to try and start building in looking all right so now right along the edge here is darker 
this light piece looks like it's a similar color right along here so I'm going to save this for up there and I'm going to get my darker pieces and start needling them in here. Now I don't have a hard edge too much yet along the collar so I'm not worrying about that yet. It's looking all right. So there's a lot of dark along here, and I'm not going to worry about getting that in yet. Just a hint of it is good enough for this. So now the collar gets to be quite a bit more clear here. This, this line continues right up into his ear. A lot of detail along here. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow in here. mix a little bit more of this pale color and, and this whatever that is I just I need a little bit more of this color to put along there trying to work around the buckle of his collar there. 
Okay, so this color now is going to be a little bit darker than what I want to go in between here. So I'm just going to lighten it up with a little bit more of this toffee. And a small amount of this cream. I should find out what that color is called. I think I've called it something different almost every time I've picked it up. Need more of this golden color in here. All right, that's a good start. That's a good transition color there. I think I can see some of my blue sketch line there. I don't like to see the sketch lines in between, so we need to put some color there, but I think I'm going to use the paler color. So let's take my paler color here. to fix this edge up along here. I don't like it when it gets all lumpy. Now to continue, this is the edge of his fur. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to put my Mixed colors aside. Oops, they're trying to come with me. Put them aside, and I'm just going to. It's darker along here, lighter at the top. So, this is my darker color. I need to reference my sketch. So let's see. Looks like it comes along here. I've kind of lost some of the detail. The pen kind of wears off after a while. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to roll this a little bit to try and get it a little thicker before I put it down because I want to get a nice edge where the collar is going to go. Let's 
It's interesting that right along the bottom edge of the collar, we actually have some pale spots. Those are details I'll put in later though. Like I said, we're just trying to get the base layer in that we can start building our details onto. Just this is the last bit of this dark that I have. So I'm just kind of loosely putting it on where it's darkest. And that way I can um, put my lighter colors around it. Just to keep that detail as much as possible. Continuing on, this is the lighter color. too much about the flyaway hairs right now either. I'll go and flatten them down when I am ready to. I'm trying to decide here how high up to go before I start bringing the lighter colors in. I think probably around here. Spots that are a bit too thin because I can see the canvas through them. I'm running short of color. The edges are going to be blending in with my white patch, so I'm not too worried about making them uh, like a crisp edge. It can be kind of loose. We'll put something over top. Hmm. 
Oh, he's starting to come together. It's so nice to see. So I'm actually going to remove this pin now. It doesn't need to be there. And it's in my way. need to keep track of where underneath I have a piece of felt like a craft acrylic dollar store type felt um, I just have to make sure I stay within the uh, edges of it okay I'm gonna use up some of this this is a really pretty, this is purples in here, but that's not the right color to use. Um, I'm going to use some of this golden color. And this pale color. A little bit of this toffee. I want to keep this mix warmer to start building up there. More on the yellows. Got a big chunk of a color there, I gotta break that up. Colors are a little bit, uh, or my mix is a little bit um, chunky. It's the only word I can come up with. It's a bit chunky. I need to keep fussing it up a bit. interesting when you get to the edge you gotta try and stay within that um, bounds of the canvas that is happening right now while I'm working on this that I don't like but I know I'm going to correct that because of the way I'm doing the colors I'm getting kind of a swirly effect within the coat when I want to eventually get um like following the hairline but that will that will get fixed when we start putting the details on
So soon I'm going to start mixing in a lighter color. Do I want to do that now? Yeah. I do, I do love just the the feel of it, the the blending. Even if it's not like the effect I'm going for, like you can see some gradients happening. It's really nice. I love felt. <laughs> This might be too light for what I want to do here, looking at my photo, but we'll work with it. It'll be very nice when I start putting his collar in. I think that'll look nice too. There's so much, there's so much that you can accomplish just with color. I feel like I'm bending my needle a lot. I don't think it's going to like that. I haven't broken a needle yet, knock on wood. Mm, so nice. All right. I'm deciding, I think I'll do the collar next before I get into the white on his chest. His collar is blue, but it looks like it's very dark blue.
Ooh, you know what? I totally forgot. This side here is actually supposed to be tans too. So I'm going to have to uh, mix some more colors. to cover over this blue line. I don't remember what needle this is, but it's bending quite a bit, so I think I need to be careful. Probably buy some backups. my clover tool and just give everything a good stabbing down. Okay, so let's try and get this. Okay, let's go with some of this golden color. Toffee. This is toffee. <laughs> this is the golden color. A little bit of both. And about half of this that I have left. Just stacking them and blending them. And there's not a whole lot of detail in this spot, so I'm just going to paint the whole mess of color on it. such a nice dog. I just need to follow along the edge here.
is some little bits of detail, but we'll put those details in later. Keep lifting up my wool here so I can see the lines underneath to follow them. might seem like kind of a boring process getting just this base layer in. Not too much interesting is happening other than just putting down some details, but it can be relaxing just working away at it. rolling this edge a little bit. Definitely not going to get very far today because the tablet that I'm using to uh, have my reference photo beside me is not charging. <laughs> and it's at about 18% battery right now. So I don't know how long it's going to last. And I don't know why it's not charging either. Okay, so now I gotta get the uh, edge of the felt canvas here. Okay, that's not bad. So let's try and get a base. Mm, I'm trying to decide what color. I don't need, this is a mix, I'm gonna put it aside. That's a mix as well. I'd like to keep my mixes separate from my unmixed colors because I can put my unmixed colors back in the palette. Okay, so this is my pail, and it, it seems to be concentrated more down the center here, and it's brighter on the edges. But I'm going to do the bright colors afterwards.
I just, I know I said I wasn't doing details, but I had to get this one in. <laughs> There's a little bit of pale here. Not done, but it's good enough. <laughs> Escaping color scan. Ooh, that's a great idea. Okay, so um, I'm going to use my pink. So that's going to go along here. Um, I'm going to mix some of it. Hmm. I'll mix this some of it with this gray. Not all of it, some of it. Looks like there's a little bit of yellow straight down the very middle part, too. Okay. Hmm. I think that's the same color here. Is that a mix? That's a mix. Oh, we're down to 17% battery. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to put this everywhere and uh, see what we see. So here you can see where I'm just letting the edges kind of blend into each other not really well, just letting them start to kind of butt up against each other and do what they feel like doing, really. I do not have enough of this color to get him all the way done here.
definitely need more color. He looks kind of funny, so well detailed here and then just flat over here. <laughs> I should maybe play music for you guys to listen to when I'm doing this. There's not really much to say when all I'm doing is putting a single solid color in place. a bit of felt that's going into this piece here. One of the things I like to try and do well <laughs> is wet felting for like larger areas like this. I've tried it a few times but it has not gone well. It's not my my skill set, but mm, I should try it another time. I keep thinking maybe I'll take a class.
I just want to add a little bit of detail in here. So this is just my cooler. Um, this is a mix with some grays in it. So these are just some subtle, subtle shading, if you can even see it. The sides are going to be uh, quite a bit lighter. I'm actually probably going to bring my merino in for that and just use my palest color, almost white, to uh, add that warmth up there. I have a really pretty color with my merino. So I've got wrinkle along here. Hopefully I can remember where this line is <laughs> when I continue working on it another day because it's such a pale line. Another little bit of a wrinkle along here. And I'm going to put a little bit over here. Quite a bit of um, shadowing all in here. Can you see that? Yeah, I guess you can see that. Now I want to just lighten up this part here to match my chest color a bit. And same here. Let's see. Oh, we're down to 16% battery. At least it's lasting a little while. Hmm. Don't know if I like this color along here. 
I'm just going to leave it though. We can adjust. Okay, let's uh, just quickly try and get his collar in place. Okay, so it's going to be mostly this dark blue. Getting brighter near the top. So maybe I'm going to start, I've got this, this, this is a leftover piece of um, kind of a bright blue. Oh, and I need to put in the um, gray for the, what is that called? A buckle, my goodness. Okay, let's just try and get, so I'm just, I'm rolling this in um, just kind of a little sausage and I'm going to put it just on right along the edge here. I want to try and keep this thin. This part starts to get a little bit thicker. Hmm, bending this is tricky. Buckles are kind of a pain. I had a painting I did recently with a horse wearing a halter and there was two buckles. There was one like where the halter um, connected but then there's also a ring kind of at the side of, of the horse's face and they're gold which is not an easy color to, to um, paint in my opinion because it's, it's, it's unique. That's all I have to say about buckles. They're kind of a pain. Okay, so here is where I think I'm going to put the brighter color in. Just rolling it up in a little bit of a tighter mat. So now I'm just trying to very carefully lay the um, strap through the buckle. I feel like it's a little bit too thin. Hmm, yeah. It is definitely too thin. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to make that um, it's going to have to come up this way, but I think I can 
think I can put this over top here. Hmm, that looks weird there. We'll fix it, though. I'm just rolling it again a little bit tighter. Okay, so I'm going to start transitioning into this darker color. Mm, that's a solid. Don't need as much. And then as it gets under here, I've got a dark purple I'm going to mix in. I want to mix the purple in now.
Ooh, we're down to 14% battery. Okay. All right, I think this is a good spot to stop for today, especially seeing as my uh, <laughs> reference photo is going to be turning off on me fairly soon. So this is just a base layer put in. Uh, next time I'm going to start putting in the details. Uh, shading on the collar, putting in the hair, and like fixing this whole section here. There's a lot that needs to be done, but we had to have a base layer to put onto it. Um, or, or we have a base layer established so we can start putting the details in and, and have everything start really coming together. So I'm really happy with where we're ending this right now. He's uh, starting to look like a bit of a dog here. Thanks for sitting with me, and I will see you again next time. Bye!